Hi, welcome to All About Mechanical Engineering. In today's video, we will look another example on orthographic projections in which some curved portions has been involved. So before moving ahead with the actual solution for the example number three, let us try to understand how a curved surface that is circle or semicircle would look like in various views. So I have taken a circle here from front view. We can see the actual shape here that is circle. Thickness is given to this circle and it's a disc with a considerable amount of thickness and the thickness is visible from the side. So how it will be looking from the side. So let's turn it to the side like this and you can see the shape which is seen is a rectangle. So surprisingly, there is a change in its shape. The circular part is not visible. You can only see that there is a rectangle which is available from edge to edge. In a similar fashion, you have a semicircle here. And if you try to turn it to the side, you will be seeing a rectangle here with another dimensions. So the thickness I have kept different for a circle and for a semicircle in order to make you understand that the basic shape which is seen here from the side, the curve is not visible and only flat edges are visible. This is the most important point to be remembered while working with orthographic projections, including curved surfaces. So let's take the example now. This is the question given to us. Before starting with the solution as a standard practice, there are always some points to be understood. So the first point, arrow with the label X always indicates the front view direction. So in this question, this is the arrow and this is the label X. So this is our front view direction. So this will be our length, this will be width and the vertical dimension will be height. Second thing, identify which side view has to be drawn for the given question. So every question will not have the same kind of side view to be drawn. For this question, in order to obtain the side view, you have to move towards the right. And from this, you can see the side view. So as you're moving towards the right, right hand side view will be available for this question. Third, calculate the total length, width and height of the given question. So let's start. As in the question, total length is directly given as 80. Width is given in three parts, 15, then 20, then 15. Adding them up gives you 50. And the height. This is the first step, 15. From the top surface to the center of the circle and semicircle, we can say it's 25. And from the center, the outer radius is mentioned as 25. So total becomes 15 plus 25 plus 25 comes out to be 65. Starting with the solution, keeping this data with us. As nothing is mentioned in this question, so by default, first angle projection method has to be used. According to the first angle projection method, right hand side view has to be drawn on the left hand side of the front view. So let's draw these lines and locate the position. So you will be having your right hand side view drawn on the left. Front view will be here and top view below it. These are the positions. Once you have specified the positions, it becomes easier to start with the solution. We always practice front view to be drawn first, then proceed to top view and then the remaining view that is our side view. So we'll process accordingly. Now I'm docking. I'm just making these lines of different colors in order to identify which line I'm drawing in this view. So starting with the first one, I have given color here. I will draw with this line. So from front view, I can see this line of 80 mm. So I'll take 80 mm and I'll take this line of 80 mm to be drawn here in the front view. Then we can see this rising up by a distance of 15 mm. So we'll take 15 mm, draw this. Then to the center, the distance from this top surface is 25 and the top surface is 15 mm above. So we have taken 15 mm above. So we will draw this 25 mm 
above we have taken and we will draw a center line so this center line corresponds to this center line okay this is how we have to complete so this edge which is shown here is drawn at this position now above it no doubt it is a curved part as we have seen in the previous slide it will be looking a flat straight line here and it will be having a distance of what so from center up to the top the radius is 25 mm so you have to go above up to 25 mm and then there you stop then the thickness of this so you have to draw this line here so it will be of how much dimension total is 80 out of that from this end to the front face of this plate it is 65 so 80 minus 65 you get 15 mm as the thickness of this projection now once you have completed this coming back to this so it will be like this rectangular portion and from there you have to drop down up to this so this line is available here so we'll dock it and just draw the remaining portion completing this L which is seen in the front view now from front view there is a line this edge which is not visible as seen in the previous examples the lines which are present the edges which are present in the component but cannot be seen are hidden lines which are represented by dash lines so at what position it is there so from the front face it is 30 mm behind so this is our front face from here we have take 30 mm and then we will draw a dash line this completes our front view only one thing is remaining that I have not shown this circle or its corresponding lines in this front view let it be for some period of time I will show you how to complete it now moving ahead with the top view so taking the projectors from front view downwards so the length is carried as it is 80 mm another dimension which is seen in top view that is apart from length width is visible so total width is 50 mm so here we will take the projectors down as you can see this portion that is semicircular portion here from top it will be seen as a rectangle so this is 50 mm width we are talking about and this is the line which is available at the back end so we are talking about this line which is available up to 50 mm then you will be having the front edge as well those this is the front edge we are talking about this is also looking as a flat line here flat edge and this line is already visible and this is will be also visible so completing it and the outer position is complete now we are at the front face here in the top view and we can see there is a line which are coming inside and the distance from each corner is 15 mm so taking 15 mm from both ends and drawing the edges dark then they get back so they move inside up to a distance of 30 we have already taken 30 mm here so taking a projector from here and from this corner and this corner taking the lines up to that line so these are dark edges these are visible edges then it gets completed here so from top even this edge is visible so I'm completing this and it completes the top view now again this circle still not drawn in the top view okay let it be now taking 45 degree angle and then taking the projectors to the right hand side view to be completed in this manner if you draw this 45 degree line the dimension that is width in the top view is carried as it is to the side so this is automatically 50 mm the dimensions which are visible in the side view is width and height height will be taken from the front view so from side if you are seeing then you can see this flat edges and similarly there will be another edge at the back of this vertical surface so in all it will be a dark line of complete 50 mm width then the 
height that is 15 mm we already have 15 mm here so we can take 15 mm and we have taken a projector from here and completed this the top edges are also there for the 15 mm part the 20 mm part and 15 mm part so we will complete it accordingly by taking projectors from here we have to take it above and these are the lines which are present at this position and this position are shown here and the top edge is also present this completes the front face of the given question then from here up to 25 mm it's a straight line vertical up on both sides so accordingly these two lines have been drawn now we need a center in order to draw this semicircle on the outer side and circle on the inside so in order to locate the center this is 50 mm so I'm taking center at 25 this is the center line I have drawn intersection of these two center lines is the desired center keeping compass here taking distance r equal to 25 mm in the compass keeping compass here and drawing the outer semicircle if you have drawn everything correct up till now then your line or projector from this front view if you extend it should be tangent to the semicircle drawing the inside circle which is concentric with the outer semicircle and the diameter here is 30 so radius will be 15 phi indicates the diameter so radius will be half of it 30 divided by 2 will be 15 keeping compass here taking 15 mm radius and completing the circle because the circle is visible in the side view that's why I have drawn the side view first completed the circle here now it's easy to draw its line in the remaining two views how so taking this lines it starts from here it ends from here so taking projectors from top and bottom and from the side you cannot see this it is nothing but a through hole you can consider it's a drill hole so the material is not present in this portion so it is dash line at this position and dash line at this position once you have completed the front view similarly taking projectors down and from there you have to turn it like this and the circle is present only in this 15 mm so this 15 mm is present here in the top view dash lines will be here like this and the center line should be shown because these dashed lines does not give any indication that whether it is a circular portion or of any other shape that's why this center line has to be shown for circular holes so this completes the solution for this question hope you have enjoyed the video thank you for watching it